Leave it be. Carriers. Leave it be. Leave it be. Uh, it doesn't want to sting you. Leave it be. Leave the bee be. Leave it be. <laughs> no. No. Leave the bee be. <laughs> she wants to get the bee. Inca, leave it. No, leave it. Come here, let me help you. There we go. Oh no, you're falling down. No, come here. Get on here. Get on here. Get on here. Get on here. Come here. Now, there. Get some sugary something. There. Clambered into a foxglove to get some much needed sustenance. Phew. That was exciting. The place is humming with bees. And you're just lounging around amongst the clovers which is what the bees are after. This is what the bees want. Ink has now jumped up, trying to get closer to the bees in the foxgloves. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I could rescue at least that one. Today, waiting for a tour group to arrive. This is the wool room, all ready. This is a local artist called um, Dano or Dan Leo. So I've got postcards, cards for sale, my brochures, my calendars, I've got yarn, this is a fantastic um, Zwartlas sheep made completely out of wool. I don't know, I, the light is not great, so you can't see. Um, this is a tea cozy a friend of mine made. This is a felt hat that the wonderful Dawn made. So that's an off cut, that's not a full travel rug. It's the end of the, so these ink pots, we dug up here on the farm. They would have belonged to my great, great grandfather, or even before that. This is a linen w w spinning wheel. There were hundreds of them came into Ireland at the turn of the last century from, I believe it's the Netherlands. And it was a flax wheel, but a lot of people here used it for spinning wool. This is an Ashley spinning wheel, modern one. So an old tractor seat. Then over here, um, this is wonderful Irish wool, uh, beautiful piece made by a fan that I love. I want to frame it up because it's so gorgeous. These are all Irish wools and this is supposed to be the super ma, this amazing sheep I had. Here are the show ribbons that I've won over the years for sheep. Um, this sweater here was made um, by a lovely German man. He came down and selected a fleece and he spun this by hand and knitted it himself. So here's the wool process from the raw to the roving to the web or thread. And then it's spun into a single yarn and then spun into a double yarn. This is a stool made out of um, sheep's wool fleece. And then these are my blankets, the bed blanket, the cat blanket, and the travel rug that I sell online. Mind you,
this one sold out. This is my um, sample one that goes to all the fairs and events that I go to. These are two felted fleeces. This is a Clun Forest Zwartblas Cross, and this is a Zwartblas Lamb. And these are felted onto a lovely material. So there's my seed and grass and multi-species sward mix. So these, all the wheels you're seeing here, all the way along here, they all come from Cushendale. They were getting rid of them. And I said, I'll have them. They're beautiful. They're old um, wheels for milling wool is what they were. So uh, this, I'll light the fire later on towards the time that the guests are going to arrive. There, all those horseshoes were found here on the farm when digging in various places. That's Alfie. I got Dano to make that for me. And there's Bodacious. So that's a brief tour of what the tour group is going to see just here in the farm after my dogs tried to kill a bumblebee. So there you go. Um, a brief tour of my little wool workshop area. <laughs>